from the Weather Tracker TV Storm Studios. This is your weekend weather. Here's meteorologist Patrice Brown. And hello, everybody. Welcome to Weather Tracker TV, your weekend weather connection. I'm meteorologist Patrice Brown, and I wish I could tell you that this pattern we've been in is going to break, but unfortunately, it's just not the case. Case in point, we can look at our uh, actual lows from this morning. Uh, for the past several mornings, we've had temperatures in the high upper 70s, but basically in the 80s, and that has not changed. So this morning's actual lows, we've had 83 at DFW, 85 in Breckenridge. Yes, we do have 79 in Paris, but most of us are in the 80s this morning. And our Metroplex actual lows is pretty much the same. We do have a couple of 79s in Mesquite and Lancaster, but for the rest of us, we're in the 80s, 81 in Burleson, 84 in Denton. Now let's look at our hour by hour. We're looking at a high temperature of 108 today. And so again, this pattern is just going to continue. However, we do have maybe a small tidbit of good news. We're looking into Monday night into Tuesday. Could our temperatures be going down just a bit? We'll talk about that more in a moment. For now though, we do have uh, our excessive heat warnings in the area. So that has not changed. Uh, the current excessive heat warning is supposed to go until 8 p.m. tonight. We will see if that gets extended into tomorrow. Uh, let's look at our national radar. Nothing where we are at all. Uh, most of Texas, you don't see anything with the exception of the panhandle. You can see all the storms off to our north in Oklahoma, going across Missouri and Arkansas. Uh, they're going to see a lot of severe weather today. Uh, more on that on Stormwatch. And if you look at the rest of the country as well, you see some storms that will be going on in the Northeast. We'll talk about that during storm watch as well. But the bottom line is in our area, you're just not seeing much of anything. You're not seeing anything at all. Uh, and that is because of our summer heat dome. Yes, it is just slightly to our south and east, but it's still in control of our weather. It's not letting us get any kind of precipitation at all. Uh, it's keeping our air dry and it's keeping all of that moisture off to our north, unfortunately. So until that heat dome moves, it's going to be more of the same. So let's look at the model here. You can also see, again, those storms that are going just to our north, just north of the border. They're going across Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri. So they're getting a lot of rain. They've been getting a lot of rain the past few days, but we're just missing out on pretty much all of it. So uh, we're going to be staying dry for the next several days. Uh, now, we know, of course, of our fire danger that we've been having. The further west you go, that's where you're going to see more danger. Uh, that's basically west of the I-35 corridor. Now we all are under um, red flag uh, warnings if you go west of the uh, I-35 corridor. Uh, but again, the further west you go, it becomes more than elevated, it becomes critical. So please make sure that we are avoiding those activities that could cause a spark or a flame. Our high forecast temperatures for today, we're looking at 108 in DFW, 110 in Graham, 109 in Hamilton. We're looking at, oh, we have a possibility of setting a record today as well. The old record was 107 set back in 2016. Our new record possibly could be set today with a high of 108. And I'm also expecting that we could break a record tomorrow as well. So we have some record breaking going on here. Uh, if you're planning on going out tonight, perhaps to Deep Ellum, we're looking at dry conditions, of course. Uh, we're in the mid nineties. Uh, it's going to be a light wind. And then after midnight, the winds may pick up a bit as the temperatures go down into uh, the upper eighties. Our low forecast temperatures for tonight, uh, similar to what we've been having, we do see some 77s on here, 77 in Athens, uh, 77 in Terrell, but a lot of 80s still. Our forecast highs temperatures, more of the same. Now let's look at our three-day forecast. Of course, 108, 107 tomorrow, but look at Monday. Monday, we're going down to 101. And with that cold front, that possible cold front coming through, uh, that might bring our temperature down to 97 on Tuesday. 
stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> 